Halloween props are an essential part of any haunted house or Halloween decor. And we all love them. Except we don't love their price tags. These props can get pretty expensive. And over the years, they can pack a wallop to our wallets. In this video, I'll share with you five ways that you can save money for your Halloween props. <laughs> Find the best deals. A lot of times people will buy decor or props or even costumes because they're in the moment shopping and they see it and they want it just then but it's important to strategically shop around. I, for example, never pay full price for any prop. I mostly buy my props from Costco, thrift stores, or I wait for those after Halloween sales. It's important that you shop around and get the best deal. Costco has some of the cheapest Halloween decor that you can find. For example, I actually own this animatronic butler and this light up pumpkin, and I have not been able to find anything that comes close to these low prices. Thrift stores are also a great place to find Halloween props and decor. And the great thing behind thrift stores is sometimes you can find brand new props or decor that haven't even been used at one third of the prices. And after Halloween sales is where you can really hit those savings. And it's more places than just those pop-ups like Spirit Halloween and Everything Halloween. Other stores like Fred Meyer, Walmart, Target, and etc. They all have stores either on Halloween or after Halloween when they really slash the prices. Sometimes you can get a coupon or email subscription to some of these Halloween stores and they offer you deals for maybe 20-30% off an item and you may save a lot of money. However, shop around. Try to get the best deal and sometimes the best deal is not always in the store. If you take that same item and compare it on Amazon, you could see that even with a discount in a store, you can find it online at another location for cheaper. So avoid shopping the in the moment impulse buys. If you like something that you see in a store or even something you see online, try to compare shop first. This can save you a lot of money. Ask your guests for their costumes. Here's what I mean. Most of the time, your guests will show up to your Halloween party decked out in their favorite costume of that year, and they will never wear it again. Chances are they'll either donate it or it'll end up in a yard sale or even the trash can. But if you ask your guests, hey, if you don't mind, are you, if you're not going to use that again, I would mind keeping it. You can keep those costumes and use them for future decor or for future props. So it never hurts to ask your guests, uh, maybe make sure they're your really good friends and not just some stranger, some you barely know. But chances are they'll say, sure, yeah, take my costume. I was just going to get rid of it anyway. For example, I asked one of my friends who was wearing a pirate costume at the end of the Halloween party if he was ever going to use that costume again. He said, nope. And I said, can I have it? Sure, you can take it. And I used that same costume to dress up this prop, and now it's a brand new prop for free. So don't be afraid to ask your guests if they're ever going to use their costumes again. This next tip may be well known for people who make Halloween props regularly and year after year. And that's all about sale timing. The timing of a sale determines how much you truly will save. And don't be lured by fake sales out there. What do I mean by fake sales? Well, when Halloween items first pop up on the shelves, they mostly pop up in August and the beginning of September. 
And this is where stores will tend to say this is 20% off or 15% off. But what they might be doing is jacking up the price to put a fake sale on it. Some stores are notorious for this. And sometimes people that sell their things on Craigslist, they also know this. It's that the most expensive times that you can actually buy Halloween merchandise is in September, in the beginning and mid-October. So avoid spending during those times. So when do I spend? The best times to buy Halloween props or costumes or merchandise is actually on Halloween itself, November 1st or November 2nd. A lot of Halloween stores or stores like Fred Meyer or Target will offer 50% to 70% off of their Halloween merchandise. And recently, in, in recent years, they might even offer 50% off on October 30th or 31st because now that they put items out sooner, people tire of it. So by the time October 29th or 30th comes along, those procrastinators actually get the best deals. I know some grocery stores do this for their decor, and I know that places like Fred Meyer and Target are actually pushing their sales further and further back. So if you want to buy your Halloween merchandise, buy it a year ahead of time on October 31st, November 1st, November 2nd for the next year. You'll save the most money that way. Speaking of November 1st, I like to call it the Halloween Black Friday event. This is when all of the stores that are pop-up stores or stores that need to get rid of a lot of merchandise quickly, they offer 50% off of all of their merchandise. And here are some tips I have for those November 1st sales. The first thing is get there early. Yes, get there early. If the store opens at 9, be there. Believe it or not, there are some die-hard Halloweeners out there and they want those props just as much as you. So if that store opens at 9, you will see a line start to form outside those Spirit Halloweens or those Everything Party or Halloween City or whatever you're at. You'll see them there, posed and ready, and they know exactly what they want to buy. So you got to get there early. Sixty percent of the stores actually available and on sale that day. Now Spirit Halloween does this. They tend to take their merchandise that they want to sell again next year and they'll pack it away and put it in the back room so those things will not be available. And that on November 1st you might actually see sales associates while you're shopping there start to put some of these items away. And sometimes these are the larger priced items, those big animatronics or those items that can be used every year like pumpkins or skeletons and uh, masks of different kinds. So if you want something, you gotta get there at 9 a.m. and make sure you grab it before these sales associates put them away. Same thing for Target Fred Meyer. At night on Halloween, they tend to put away all the stuff. So they say, sale tomorrow. And when you get there, it looks like it's all been picked over, but chances are it's probably been already been put away for next year. As I just mentioned, the stores will have about 60% of their merchandise still on the floor. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that are put away are props and animatronics, especially those higher ticketed item props. So it's important to know what you want and run to those items first. You have to grab those decor or animatronics that you want because the sales associates will either be putting them away, they already have been put away, or you're going to find a lot of competition. Remember that line outside the store? They're all wanting those things too. The things that tend not to move so quickly are the costumes because people that tend to shop on November 1st aren't there for the costumes. We're there for the decor. So make sure you know exactly what you want and beeline it right to those props. And because of this high demand, there's not a lot of time and you have a lot of competition and you're kind of fighting over resources. Yes, I, I didn't get into a fight, but there was a moment where I was reaching for a prop and somebody snagged it right in front of me. 
So there goes that prop. It's important that you make a list before November 1st. Now this is very strategic, but what I do is I go to these Spirit Halloween type stores two days before November 1st. So either on October 29th or on October 30th. And I go around and I make a list of what I plan to purchase. And I always make a list of about six to eight items because some of the items might not be available. Then I prioritize them from what I definitely want to grab to what it's okay if I don't get. So I have my number one priority list items that I make a beeline right for it and I grab those things first before they run out. <laughs> now for your online shopping, not a lot of people think to buy Halloween decor until it's August or September and they start seeing it in the stores. This is also when advertisers start to send you Halloween uh, advertisements about the sales they're having and recently they've even been sending them in July. But actually, a good time to find deals on websites like Craigslist or other sites like that where people advertise and they sell their own things is May, June, and July. I've noticed a pattern that when the weather starts to get warm and people are doing their spring cleaning and they're cleaning out their garages and houses and closets, that's when you start to see Halloween decor appear. As a matter of fact, you might even get some deals in April in some uh, areas. I found the most times that people advertise for their Halloween decorations is in May, June, and July. Well, there you go. There are five ways to save money for your Halloween props. Now you will never again have to pay full price for any kind of prop. And think of the amount of money that you will save. And that money could be used to buy even more props. Hey, the more the better, right? So I hope you liked this video. I hope you collected some ideas and tips. And if you have any ideas, questions, or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, especially if you have any more tips to add or you have any suggestions for any future videos.